I wanted to start with you. Back in 2015, you tweeted that you hoped that one day you'd be able to bring Vampire Academy to the television screen. And here we are. What was it about the story that you connected with? And what has it meant to you to finally bring it to life? Well, I read this series, this book series, starting back in 2007, I think, 2006, 2007, whenever it first came out, before Vampire Diaries. Um, Honestly, before I read the Twilight books, it was really... outside of Buffy and Anne Rice, it was the most important entry point I had to specifically young adult vampires. And I just, I thought the storytelling was so smart and so vivid. And I thought the romances were so powerful and that the core of it being this beautiful friendship between two young women, it just felt like a story that was begging to be told. But back then, you couldn't make that show yeah. on TV. Mm. There was no streaming. There was no ability to, you know, go fly to Europe and shoot a castle. Like you just, it was very much centered around a broadcast uh, network. And so it didn't even register in my brain as something I could have done then. And then over the years, as I got deeper and deeper into the Vampire Diaries franchise, it just felt like, oh, I guess I'll never get to do that. And then lo and behold, somebody asked the fateful question, if you could make one show you've always wanted to make, which would it be? Uh, And when I got to Universal Television, they asked that question and I said, it would be the Vampire Academy. And so there, there we have it. And here we are. And she was on the ride with me the whole way. (laughs) Including reading the books when you first read Mm -hmm. them, which I didn't, I didn't have any affinity towards one way or another. And I thought I only read one on that vacation that we read them (laughs) on and realized, oh no, I read them all. I devoured them all very quickly. Love them. They're great books. Margaret, you're known for all the work that you've done on screen and how have those experiences lent themselves to the work that you've now done as a writer, producer, and co-showrunner? That's a great question. I think I think it just helps. I think like you know this, the more hats you wear, the the better you are at each thing that you do. And I certainly obviously can really feel for an actor, what an actor is going through in any given moment. So I can for sure see that side of it. My husband's a cinematographer. I see like the crew side of it very much. And I I kind of, I like, I love all the parts of it. So I think every time you do one job, it just improves all the other jobs. Great answer. This is a question for the both of you. This is such a beloved story with such a massive fan base. What was something that you wanted to make sure translated from the page to the screen? And what was something new that you brought to it to make it your own? For sure, we wanted that great, beautiful, deep-rooted friendship between these two women to really resonate and ring out. I mean, we've been friends for almost 20 years. Female friendship is such a big deal. It's such a rock we all you know our lives are improved so much by our female friendships and their beautiful core friendship gets them through so much but friendships are always tested and it's what you do in those hard times it's really important and we love how these two young women navigate that hard world that they're in sometimes we also really wanted to be able to have all the fun with the kind of regency esque mm-hmm. um i call it the the ball gown and tiara vibe of the show but that's really hard to do in this day and age when you're dealing with things like you know economic privilege and 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 splits in society and so we were able to really take all the themes that existed in the books and just really boost them uh, and make this a series about a society that does not want these two women to be friends simply because they are not of the same species and uh and so we get to tell a show about something meaningful that matters to the world we live in today but also get all the fun yes of all you those know, great visuals and the pretty uh, stuff too <laughs> <laughs> the pretty stuff the fierceness of yes. uh the dump here there's just like a lot a lot we get to play with in this world and everybody is so perfectly cast. What was that casting process like to find all these amazing, incredible actors that you have on the show? The casting process for this was fun in a lot of ways and not fun in one way, which is we had to do it over Zoom, which is fine for a while. But when you're getting down to the end and you want to do chemistry yeah. meetings and see people together and see pe- meet people in person, you don't get to do that, which is always a bummer. So it's a real miracle when it comes out well on the other side, mm-hmm. when you haven't had that access to somebody's personality right in front of you in real life. So I think we got incredibly, incredibly lucky. And we didn't have that pressure 
that, oh, you have to cast a name, you have to cast a star. We got to discover stars. We got to give people jobs who might not have even ever had a job before. We got to find people from multiple countries all yeah. across the globe. Uh, and and as a result, the just the representation in this ensemble is so thrilling and something to be really proud of as well. And I just think of these chemistry reads over Zoom. Again, right. the actor part of me is like, Good luck with that. These guys did an incredible job. Like you literally could feel these characters connecting. Oh, like when that one of them is in one country, one of them is in another. It's morning here. It's night yeah. there. <laughs> They're seeing each other on like a, like on a little video and making magic in front of us. So we yeah. we've got the incredibly talented cast. We we got the best people. We're lucky.